New at three barber shops throughout Tampa Bay are busy this week with back to school haircuts, but there is one shop in Tampa that decided to provide their services for free to any and all students in need of a trim. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd stopped by to check out the latest trends. Dozens and dozens of students hopped into chairs here at New Generation Barber Shop for that fresh new back to school cut. This local business loves their local community and the community loves them back. When Davis Wynn has a child climb into his chair, he can't help but think when he was a kid getting ready to go back to school. I see myself, I see a lot of kids, uh, I see a lot of my friends that I grew up with. Davis knows firsthand how expensive haircuts can be for families. I grew up in public housing. Um, we didn't have the, the best finances uh, growing up. But he also knows a new haircut puts a child on the right track when it comes to confidence and self-esteem. You know, you got kids that got their outfits planned out for the day before, you the know, shoes. Say, shoes, everything laid out for, at 5 a.m. So it's only right you have a fresh haircut to go with it. It brings, it compliments everything and, uh, and it puts a smile on their face. So Davis and his eight person staff donated their time and talents this week to give as many free back to school haircuts as possible. And they had some great requests. You got mohawks, fades, uh, comb overs, messy styles with a fade to keep it clean. <laughs> I'm glad to hear the Mohawks coming back. Yeah. I only wish I could get a Mohawk. Oh, you'd be surprised. You got, you got, even, even got <laughs> I don't think I have enough there. up here, though. <laughs> Both parents and students say the whole neighborhood was a buzz <laughs> about the event. It means a lot to give back to the community, to show love right before school. Um, everyone wants to look good on the first day of school, you know what I mean? It could be 100 bucks or more with uh, all these, especially with people with a lot of kids, so it's just really nice of them. Thanks to the generosity of other nearby businesses, the first 65 students also received a free backpack. Davis says there's a reason he named his shop New Generation. It's about showing love and letting them know that this is a spot that they can come to for uh, things like this. You know, uh, we are a cornerstone in our community. Oh, good people still exist. I love places like this. So this isn't the first time around the block with offering free haircuts, This right? is the second year, and they plan on doing it each year after this. So you could say it's officially now an annual event. Oh. What's really cool about Davis Wynn is he grew up right there in that neighborhood on yeah. Dale Mabry by the base. Uh, he went to Robinson High School. This is really his community. He actually taught himself at his own uh, home with his brothers and sisters no. on how to do haircuts. And now here he is with his own brick and mortar. And he said when he had the chance to open up his own shop, there was only one option, right? Right there uh, in in Tampa where he grew up yeah. and he thought well what a great way now to give back the only right. way really he knows how this is what he's specializing in let's give these free care cuts and you could tell yeah. those families you saw that little boy come up and hug him right oh, in the middle of our interview perfect time I don't usually like being interrupted in interviews but that was <laughs> worth it because that little boy is just like I need to give him a hug that's how happy he yeah. was to get a haircut it says it all right there yeah. uh, love those stories love your feel good thank you Robert thank you. appreciate you and remember ABC Action News, we are your back to school station. Make sure you check out abcactionnews.com slash school. We have a guide to get your kids ready for the school year. We have advice for getting them back into that sleep routine. We know they slept in and stayed up late. Also ways to get them learning before that first day of school, kind of ease them into the school year. You can find that on abcactionnews.com slash school.